Hi, in this video, I'll be sharing with you how to draw the Sierpinski Triangle. The Sierpinski Triangle is one of two fractal math and art projects I have for you. The other one is the Coke Snowflake. A fractal is a type of mathematical shape that are infinitely complex. They keep repeating forever, usually getting smaller with each iteration. So for this example, we have a 16 by 16 triangle and then an eight by eight, four by four, two by two. So each iteration or each step is half the size of the first one. In my packet that's available on my website, I have three different sizes of this triangle paper. This is the medium, there's a large, and then there's also a small. I like the medium because I can easily fit the 16 by 16 triangle. The small would do it as well. I haven't used the small one yet. I might try it soon and I'll show you what I come up with. So we're gonna use the medium sized triangle paper to create our Sierpinski triangle. I'm gonna start with a triangle that has a side length of 16. So if I pick a spot that's in the middle, I can count down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then over the same. So the first triangle has a side length of 16. I'm gonna take half of that, which is eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and make another triangle that is eight by eight. What's cool with this triangle paper is you just follow the lines and it matches up perfectly. So what we're gonna do now is color in the center triangle, this one in the middle. The way in which you color it doesn't matter. This is kind of where the art and the creativity comes into play. As a matter of fact, I found a really neat website by Crayola Teacher that um, offers different schemes for color in the Sierpinski Triangle, and I'll share the link to that in the packet that you can download. Alrighty, so now we have um, an eight by eight triangle. I've got three empty spaces, so in each of those, I'll do a four by four. So I count down four. Go across and down and down. I'm gonna color in that middle one. I like to do all of the same size triangles, the same color, but that's just my preference. So that's a four by four and he's gonna be green. I'm gonna do four by fours down in the other empty triangles as well. I would color each of these green. I don't think you need to take the time to watch me color all of these. Then in these empty spaces, which we have nine of them now, we'll do a two by two triangle. And I do the same down here. Color those in a different color. And then now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine empty triangles. And there'd be nine here and there'd be nine here. So I, each of those gets a one by one triangle. And then we color in that one by one triangle, another color. Now you could stop here because we're out of lines on the paper. Or you can go ahead and take it another step and just draw in your own triangles in these empty spots and see how far you can go. 
So this is the Serpensky tri Triangle. It is an example of a fractal art. I can't wait to see what you create.